The ANC held a media briefing to outline the outcomes of its three-day NEC meeting over the weekend, and the governing party has expressed its unwavering support for Palestine. We do have uh, unconditional support uh, for Palestine, and we've got reasons for that. And we don't apologize to anybody. Whether they can like us or not, but we will be on the side of justice. You can't oppress people and then think we'll be on your side. We too were oppressed here in this country. We were oppressed. United States under Reagan and the United Kingdom, Britain under Margaret Thatcher, they were on the side of our oppressors. The majority of people in the United States, citizens, were with us in the anti-apartheid movement. The ANC wants Israel's occupation of Palestine and its military action declared a crime against humanity. We call on the UN Secretary General and UN agencies to visit Palestine and report to the United Nations General Assembly on the humanitarian situation in Gaza. The ANC will release a briefing note that explain and educate our members and South African society on our position on the Israel-Palestinian situation and will engage with all sectors of society on our long-standing position. We call on the UN Secretary General to visit Palestine and report to the United Nations General Assembly. Human rights violation must be heard in the International Court of Justice. Balula has also questioned the stance taken by some old powers in the current Israeli-Palestine conflict. We are calling for the investigation of these acts of terror uh, by Israel. And at the same time, penalties must be imposed to, to anyone. There is a penalty imposed on Russian president because of what is happening in Ukraine. We must stop this hypocrisy. Now back at home, Balula has dismissed claims of a rift during the NEC meeting, but he described the engagement as being robust with the focus on implementation to address service delivery challenges. And in a few weeks' time, the party says it will hold a special NEC meeting. The ANC will dedicate a special NEC to focus solely on the work of the Integrity Committee. In the next two weeks, a virtual meeting of this nature will be convened to focus mainly on the integrity issues as well as a briefing on the transformation and um, integration and restructuring of the state-owned uh, assets, including the interventions that have been reported in our NEC that have been made in terms of maintaining stability at Transnet and all other entities. Meanwhile, the ANC has announced that it will, together with its alliance partners, march to the Israeli embassy in Pretoria on Friday. It also intends to have a meeting with the South African Jewish Board of Deputies. Ntlantla Katlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.